Hello everyone and welcome to Factoria. I'm Par and I'll be playing C block today. In the previous episode, what did we do in the previous episode? Let's uh, consult the spreadsheet. We fixed this um, block, the city block that is responsible for titanium. And it seems to be working. It's a little bit short on uh, hybrid uh, catalysts, but that is okay. So today, what I wanted to do, I wanted to basically just let the base run for a while, and I wanted to continue building these blocks over here. Specifically, I wanted to build this power plant, but I'm not actually sure whether I'll be able to do it today. I'm actually almost sure that I will not be able to do it um, in such limited time. So yeah, let's do whatever we can do on this side of the sea. Of the island, I guess. Alright. Can we deal with this worm somehow? Will we be able to remove both of them at the same time? Or will we have to build something over here? Let's see. Let's see. I... I wonder, should I, like, when should I start landfilling things? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know when it's, like, the proper time for to do such things. If there, or even if there could be, like, a proper time <laughs> for this. Let's place this one here. We'll delete majority of the stuff and then we'll, I guess, have another one here. And it should work just fine. Let's see. I want, I probably want to landfill this area. How many robots do I have? I have 7000 robots and they are not really doing anything useful. They're just hanging there. Doing nothing. Right. Uh, actually, speaking of robots, can I improve my robot production a little bit? Because I kind of feel that it might be a little bit slow. I'd expect us to have much more robots. by now. Okay, we have construction bots line here. Why? I guess they just recharge them. It's okay. And logistic bots are moving. Right. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. So we have this... Um, have this process where we are building bots and we need... We don't have any power. Okay, that's pretty sad. I feel like the problem here is with the power. Like the lack of power is what's uh, slowing us down here. Oh, look at this. We have 1000 assassin units. That is great. So, what I was thinking it looks like this part is slow because we don't really have. Okay, substrate. We can deliver substrate here. What else can we do? We can make basic electronic components and transistors on site, most likely. 
Let's try to do that. Let's try to build these things on site, if we can. We'll remove the thing here. Okay, I don't like these numbers. Let's say we want like 100 of this. And we want 100 of this. Let's also try to make transistors right here. Can we do this? Yeah, let's see. 100, 50 or something. Let's say 50. Uh, we do not have actually this thing. What is it? We do not have a wafer, right? What is the wafer? How can we get it? This one. We don't have silicon wafer. So it might make sense to actually produce it here. Let's request some stuff. Um, we want to request silicon, monosilicon, this thing. Uh, 4000, right? That's actually a question. 4000 of that. We don't have carbon, uh, so I guess, I guess we'll have to make it somehow. And another thing that we don't have, we don't really have silver wires. So let's make this monosilicon. And let's also request silver wires. Speaking of wires, no. Um, let's not do it here. Let's request them here. Because we have another input station that is called mole write in. And we can actually get a bunch of things from like on this side as well. Right? So this would be monosilicon and this one let's say it will be um, uh, this substrates uh, substrates this ones. Right? And we don't need uh, a lot of this we just need a tiny amount. We also don't really need lots of this stuff. Tiny amount of build up. Let's ask for 4000 of these substrates. Awesome, looking good. So this sta station is done. We need to have something similar for this one, right? Six. Six. This is gun. Gun, gun. Nice. And we will have pretty much the same setup. Copying? Oh, not like this. We are copying the whole thing with the provider chests. And we'll be requesting things here. Alright, what are we missing? We are missing carbon. We somehow have silver wire. I'm actually surprised that we have it. Okay. We are very short on power. And we are also very short on resources. On like all kinds of resources. We just don't have basically anything. Our base doesn't have anything. I thought I played a bit with the priorities of some of the stations. Okay, not this one, maybe this one. Eight. Oh, that's a good priority. Maybe this one. No priority. Oh, that's because this is output. Yeah. 17, right? We don't want 17 there. We want 7. Let's go and reduce the priority. Because we want to prioritize lower level materials and like components, circuits, etc, etc. Because if we cannot uh, produce enough of low level stuff, 
there's really no chance of us, you know, producing high level things. Let's take a look at this. Alright, oh, I forgot. We wanted to. We wanted to produce cobalt steel block today. What I was. What, what, what I was doing instead? Like, why? Why did I. Uh, like, why did I decide to do something else? Okay. Cobalt steel. We have it. We need fill. We even have it planned. Look at this. We have everything planned. So we need to request a lot of steel ingots. And yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. So we want Jivalite, Platinum, and Pabmonium. And we need to give the station proper name. This one it should be called, uh, I guess, Plates. And we want it to be called. Do we need cobalt for anything? That's the question. Cobalt. Oh, do we need cobalt tower for anything? Cobalt exit. Lithium cobalt exit. Okay, potentially. We potentially need it for something. And cobalt ingots. Molten cobalt steel. Cobalt powder. Molten iron. Nope. Open still mob. So powder. Paste. Blue artifacts. I don't believe we actually need them for anything. Yep, we don't need them for anything. So let's do this. Let's call the station to be called plates. Uh cobalt ore. Where is cobalt ore? It's here. Cobalt ore. And uh, another thing is cobalt plate. No. This one. Cobalt steel plate. Because there is no regular one. Okay, this is input. And we want to get. I already managed to forget what exactly we wanted. Let's double check. So, cobalt. Javelite, cretinium, babmonium. Okay. Jivalite. Uh I believe crystals, platinum, carbonium, and this thing, right? We need crystals, I think. Alright, we need crystals. Let's request. Jivalite, cretinium, and carbonium. Some stuff. And that's not all, because we also want to request a lot, and I mean a lot, of steel ingots. Because we need the steel ingots in order to produce the steel. And how is it gonna look? We will basically copy some parts from here. I think I basically want to copy all of this. Pretty much all of this will be copied. And we'll place it here. Like this. Nice. This part, I don't believe it's needed. Okay, so this is comment. This part uses fixed blueprint, that is nice. What else do we need? We need... We need to produce some carbon. Let's check. So, we'll be feeding it some carbon and this thing... Right, so the only thing we care about is actually carbon. Let's do this. Let's... This part of the build, yeah. copy in it, and we'll place it here. Um, delete this one. Okay, let's try again. And I guess this one will have to go. 
Nice. Okay, so we have a lot, a lot of car carbon. We actually have more than we need, but it's it's okay. It is okay. This part is not needed. Now we need to figure out how to connect everything together. How are we smelting the stuff we need? Wait, we need just two plus furnaces? Am I overbuilding this by a lot? I feel like I, I'm overbuilding. We do not need this much cobble tower. Ah, that's okay. That is okay. It will be a little bit overbuilt. It's fine. So we actually need only two of the furnaces, but I can uh, just copy maybe this build with uh, six of them or something. Let's see, yeah, this build with six furnaces and we'll also... Okay, I cannot use this part, but I can use this one, right? Let's say we're doing something along these lines. We will copy things here. Okay. This our cobalt. We'll go there. Um, it's carbon. We'll be using it, and this part is completely unnecessary for this build. Alright. Okay, good. Now, what do we want? We want to take this build, I believe. Maybe with loaders. And we'll just copy it here, more or less. Gone. This one will change it a little bit because I, I actually wanted to. I wanted to be. No. It's fine. What are the splitters? So I also want to feed it some cobalt from kind of the side. Let's say. We can do it like this. Right. Nice. So we'll have some cobalt here. Right, and here we're getting some cobalt, and we'll just fill it here. Okay, and with that we have our cobalt. Cobalt ingots. Okay, what is going on? What? How did we get more than? 600 megawatts. It shouldn't have been possible. We are not supposed to be able to get more than 600. I don't know how it happened. Okay, let's pretend it never happened. Because... Because I don't know how it happened. <laughs> okay, let's see. This thing. Yeah. We will need a lot of loaders on this side. So let's say we are getting four loaders here. We are getting four loaders here. Actually, we need five. We need five. Right, like this. Now we need to change this recipe to cobalt. We are heavily overbuilding it, but I just want to have almost the same. 
uh, scale for these things. I guess we could say I'm just lazy to properly design the build. We are smelting cobalt, right? Molten cobalt still. One, two, three. And we'll have here as well. One, two, three. Nice. So now the only thing that's missing is we need to get a lot of steel here. And we even placed um, we didn't place loaders, but it just takes a little bit of time to get like to get all the steel like to get all the loaders actually delivered and placed. Alright, let's do this. It's already working. Okay. I guess... something like this here. I mean honestly it doesn't really matter much what exactly we are doing. Yeah, it will work either way. Like whatever we do it will work fine. That's the thing with uh, the <laughs> builds that are not really required in huge amounts. But this should last us a while because it's like heavily overbuilt. Actually we can scale this part further if we wanted. If you need, well, we kind of can't really scale it that far because we are limited by the throughput of the belt. It's okay. So let's say here we are looking at cobalt steel, right? Cobalt steel. We are looking at this. And here we will be looking at cobalt ore. And we are interested in. 50,000 limit, cobalt R, here it is. Nice. So this part should be working now. It will be connected. Okay, this connection was not quite... I'm surprised. I expected... Okay. I'm honestly surprised that it wasn't enough. It's fine. It is okay. Let's... Um, Change the recipe to cast cobbled steel plate. One, two, three. Heavily overbuilt production of cobalt. Because I have no idea how much I actually need. Right, this is cobalt. Let's uh, actually start. Let's so need Jewelite, Platinum, Babmonium. Right? Let's say Jewelite, Platinum, Babmonium. And here we want to get some steel ingots. This one's. No, wait. We want steel ingots here. Here we want something different. We want to get catalyst. Hybrid catalyst. Right. Okay. Let's copy this thing here. And we'll copy this one there. Okay. This is looking good. Nice. So with that we should get a lot of cobalt and we should get Steel ingots delivered here. Now the part that would remain is to... Well, and that I think that that's it. I believe that's it. With that we should have uh, cobalt ore available. And we can proceed with doing something here while hybrid catalysts are, being, like, are getting delivered. Let's place this thing, let's place this one. Do we want to do anything about this one? 
I feel like a bit blue. Okay. And here, we want to do anything here. Right, nice. Look what we are doing. Let's just ask robots to landfill some of the areas. They're not really doing anything, so they should be fine with, uh, you know, coming a little bit of work to help our base. Let's also remove stuff from here, and we'll continue the expansion. Also start and fill in the spot. I mean, we will start it as soon as uh, we're able to. We are gonna start it as soon as we're able to. And how's our cobalt doing? I don't believe we actually gave proper name to the station. Let's find it. Cobalt. Out. Yeah, but we did. If correct limits, right? If it said correct limits, I hope. Let's check, just to be 100% sure on that. Cobalt, 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 cobalt. Nice. So this part should work correctly now. And the station is enabled. And the station is obviously enabled because it actually received something. What is going on? What? Oh! Okay. Interesting. And what is the third one? Could this really be the reason that we got some power flowing here that overloaded this network? Okay, very strange things are happening. Very strange things. I don't fully understand how power overload and transformers work. Right, in this part. We also want to have some... We want to have some steel ingots. So we have steel ingots coming here. Okay, I believe that's it. Our, our depots working. We have lots of trains not doing anything. That's good. Okay, the robots are busy. This thing is waiting for more power pulse. This part is being built. So everything is looking good. We are still missing hybrid catalysts. How many do we have? Yeah, we have almost 10,000. We have like almost 10,000 in all of these places. I wonder why this thing was red. Looks like we might be a little bit short on sulfur. Uh, not on sulfur, on this uh, crystal slurry. And why is that? 
why is that? There seems to be some kind of imbalance. Let me take a look. I want to take a closer look at the block to understand what exactly is going on there. Alright. Right. It was here. And it wasn't even this one. So this one is a little bit problematic, I would say. No, it's not. Or is it? This one is getting lots of green stuff. So it explains why I started working in an non-ideal way. This one. It's eating through a lot of red one. But the thing is, we can actually improve it a little bit, if you do it like this. I'm mean, assuming if you do it like this. It should be... Like, it should perform better, I think. Because we really need a lot of red and blue... ...geodes. So, red geodes... ...and blue geodes. Let's just speed this up a bit. And here... ...same thing. Red one, blue one, and the green one is working as quickly as it can. Let's do the same thing here. Red one, got to be faster. Blue one, got to be faster. Red one faster, blue one faster. I'm not sure, by the way, whether it will help, because I thought that it shouldn't really be a concern with this build, but it seems that it is. It seems that these are blinking, they are not working uh, non-stop. So we upgraded this for city blocks as well, and let's upgrade this one. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and two more here. Yeah. Seventh, eight. Nice. So with that we have upgraded all our geode plants and they should be working fine. I think. Let's see, this part was actually upgraded. Uh, I guess, I think. So this is green, right? This is non-stop green, this is good. It's actually, I think, throttled by the output here. I think we're just generating like, too much of stuff so that it, it's taken a while for all of it to be like, properly processed, but that's okay. That is okay. How much slurry are we producing? So, or maybe, you know, maybe let's say sludge. Maybe. I, I'm actually interested in mineral sludge, right? So let's say over the last 10 hours, we've been at. Okay, on average, 265 sludge. That's good. And our sludge usage was going like up and up and up. That's also good. Especially considering that we are kind of shot on it. Especially like Cratinium. <laughs> we don't have enough Cratinium and now we are also shot on Magmonium. Actually, since we seem to... Like, I don't think we actually need dedicated uh, Steratite production and dedicated... Well, okay, maybe dedicated Cratinium is useful. I want to remove them at some point, I'm just... Not sure when I want to switch them to like a regular uh, jot production. Because all of this are basically empty, and this one's. Okay, this one doesn't have any buffer. Doesn't have any buffer. No buffer. No buffer. We're basically shot on everything. 
Uh, is this what our dashboard tells us? Yes, Every we are shot on everything except for this one. I actually have lots of it. So, you know what? Let's think. Let's maybe let fill some areas and we'll think. We'll think. I want all of these builds to be the same, but I also kind of want to make sure that the builds that I'm using are actually working correctly so that I don't have to fix the issues uh, basically like everywhere. Right. This. Why I can build on water? We can build stuff everywhere. But let's build stuff. This one is already built. We can actually tell this tell the robots to place stuff here. Okay. And we'll tell them to continue placing stuff here. Okay. Oh interesting. Good thing that I rotated, right? But that means that we can even clear this one, maybe. I'm I'm not sure whether it's gonna work the way I want it to. I mean, if we don't fill that bit of the area, then it should be fine. Right. So we are almost able to build some stuff here. Well, build power here, which will allow us to remove dependency on power from these blocks. Speaking of that, it's already, is it already connected? It's not connected. I want to connect this part to power. Wait, it was connected. And this one, it was not connected. It was connected, it was connected. I'm actually thinking, since we have problems with uh, transformers, do we actually need to have four transformers here? Maybe just one transformer uh, will be enough. Right? Let's think about this. Okay, I'll leave it at, at like four transformers for now, but. I wonder, should I reduce the number of transformers here to keep only like one available? One for all four blocks. Because all four blocks are supposed to be taking like less than 150 megawatts, I think. Okay. We can also remove this ones and this ones. We can remove all extra rubber parts that we built here. What's going on? Yeah, we need more of the parts. We need more coverage. We will need, like, we really need to increase the coverage, and the bots should be busy with this part. Let's take a look at this. Built. It's not like it doesn't get hybrid catalysts, unfortunately. Can I speed this up somehow? Can I increase this filtration unit to the next tier? Do we even have next tier filtration unit? Let's take a look. Oh, we do, and we can produce it. So let's say. I'll make this one a next tier filtration unit and this thing will be produced a little bit faster. I'm especially interested in speeding up this one. The problem is that Yeah. 
this thing is looking a bit strange. We have some leftover power poles. Leftover power poles. Leftover power poles. A bit bit in it. Yep. It's little of them. We need to scale the ores. Or production. We need to scale them. Uh, we need to scale it quite a bit. Because, like you saw, right? We are really short on ores. I can see it here. We just don't have stuff. We need more. We need more of everything. So, because of that, I feel like... I mean, I, I don't really know what to do. Like, this is the most efficient... Like, it's the same efficiency of production as uh, this line. So, I guess I just need to copy-paste more of this and place them somewhere. If you place all of this, we'll get plus 40% of ores, which would be pretty good, but it might uh, be not enough. No, it might still be not enough. Let's see, let's proceed with Lanfilian. We'll build this um, blocks. Uh, how many robots are we using? We are probably using a lot of robots. Oh, actually, no, we are not using lots of robots. We can landfill more areas. And we'll do it. Okay, for now, let's uh, take a break here. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Cheers!